Hey, what's shaking, homies? Today I got something really cool. So this is a 3D scanner. So if you guys know anything about 3D scanners, is they're normally really expensive. And this one's just just over a hundred dollars. This is the Cyclop 3D scanner. It was sent to me by Gearbest for review. So freaking awesome. So thanks to Gearbest. So I think this is a DIY kit. So we'll open it up. We'll put it together. We'll see how it works. But basically, you can take any random object and put it in there. Well, anything that fits in there, and it'll spin around, take a bunch of pictures. It's got a camera and it's got lasers on it, so it's going to take the dimensions and everything from that and then it's going to put it into your computer and you'll actually have a file that you can turn into an STL file and then print on your 3D printer, whether it be a Cartesian printer or SLA printer or whatever, but you'll have that raw file that you can do whatever you want with. So this is really cool, really high tech technology and uh, just something totally new on my channel. So really cool, very excited to check this out. So I guess. Let's just adjust this box and see what's up. I think this retails for like a hundred and like I don't know, like under 139 or something. But I think they said they were gonna give me a code and everything to get for like 109. But so maybe even cheaper, I don't know. So I'll have a link in the description. They always give me the cheapest price. My gear best rep is awesome and uh, she always hooks it up with all the best stuff. So So freaking cool. Okay, so whoa, that's a giant bearing. Holy crap. Look at this bearing, it's like the kind that are, it'd be like something you'd expect to see in a car. Like, this thing is freaking huge. Look at that. So, it comes with a giant bearing right off the bat. We got some injection molded parts, some plastic parts. I'm guessing these are for these threaded rods. We got a little bag full of um, nuts, bolts, and washers of all different sizes. We got here. We have some threaded rods, so different sizes, so that's gonna make up the frame. Um, here, I'm just gonna set this down here. Okay, then here I got all my, uh, I got cable connectors, my lasers. Um, looks like everything to set it up. I got my cord to hook it up to my computer. So here is my camera. It's a Logitech camera. So this is a 720 camera. I'm not sure if you're able to. Like if I could just upgrade this camera, just put on an even better camera, and maybe, you know, upgrade the scanner like that. But who knows, we'll see how good it works right off the bat. But for $109, I'm just baffled that this technology exists for only $109. Okay, so here's our stepper motor, the pretty standard stepper motor you'd see on like a 3D printer. And then, um, yeah, not really sure how this works. So I'm kind of learning this with you guys. Okay, another injection molded part. This is going to be part of the base, obviously. Okay, another part. This is the, I think this is the main. The part sits upright. It says Cyclop on it. So, the company that makes this is HE3D, by the, well, by, uh, by the way. Oh, there's two pieces. I'm an idiot. So, really cool. Here's, so yeah, all the plastic parts, they're all injection molded. They look pretty high quality. Um, in this little box, we have our power cord, US power cord, very nice. And here we have our Arduino. Um, it says, the firmware hasn't been uploaded. You need it uploaded, what? Okay, so my first problem I've seen with this whole thing is I don't understand, this grammar is horrible. I gotta show you this up close. Okay, so Cyclop, if you're watching, if you ever see this, you need to adjust um, how that says that, like, so I can see what I'm filming here. Okay, no, the firmware has has uploaded. You needn't, what, 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 you needn't, what, the, what, what is you needed? You need it to upload again. Um, so, yeah, a little bit, a little bit of broken English, I'd say. Um... Not sure what that means. It might have the firmware in it, might not. If not, I can probably figure it out. <laughs> uh, more parts. I think this is basically everything. Oh, no, I was wrong. <laughs> so there's more under here. Oh, here we got the calibration paper. So the laser will scan this, and that's how it calibrates it. I don't know. We'll get more into that when we get into that. Uh, I think this is the bottom of the platform that spins around where you put your object, but I'm not quite sure. I'm kind of just guessing. 
uh, for this, one, something. <laughs> and then the plat, I do know what this is. This is the, I believe, I think though, <laughs> this is the platform that spins around. And then, uh, it's a, like, uh, sticky, rubbery pad that goes on top of it. Some type of acrylic panel of some kind. And, yeah, and is that it? Yeah. And, and the random piece of cargo. Okay, so that's it. That's everything. So, yeah, so I'm gonna get out my computer and we'll go from there. It looks like it has. Yeah, it's on a card with like some QR codes. I don't know if these will bring up the directions or what. But then it also has a phone number and email and all the contact info. So, okay, so I'm gonna get my laptop out. Uh, I think on their website, you can just download all the the files and everything, but I'll put the links in the description. So if you buy this and uh, you don't know where to, where to get the directions or anything, I'll try to put some links in the description. But yeah, so I'm gonna get my laptop out and I'll guess, I guess I'll just time lapse me building it and uh, tell you how hard it was to build after and then we can start printing, you know, scanning stuff and then eventually printing stuff. So let's do it. Okay guys, so I got the whole thing built. It took just under an hour, uh, like 45, 50 minutes. And yeah, it was actually extremely easy. If you've ever put together a 3D printer, then this is nothing, this is super easy. So really not bad at all. All the resources were on the company that makes this website. They had everything in there. I'll put it in the description, but uh, they got the firmware in there and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the firmware, calibrate it a little, figure out how to work it. And then I'll check back in with you guys and uh, Show you what I can do. Okay guys, so I got Horus all fired up. That's the software that it uses. You can just Google Horus software download. There's a million links and it's totally free and everything. Here is the lasers you can see. They're nice, fine. Ah, just kidding, it doesn't hurt. But anyways, um, notice the lines are nice and skinny and that's what you're looking for. You adjust them by uh, adjusting this, just turning it. And you want them vertically up and down. Um, so once you get them totally fine, you take out the Allen head a little. You turn the body part so that way you're not messing with the adjustment of the, you know, the focus of it. And then you just get it perfectly vertical and you're good to go. So it's all calibrated. That's what that piece of paper was for. There's a little calibration set up on here. Um, it takes a couple minutes, but it's really easy to do. So I think we're ready to go. So I guess let's find something to scan and let's start scanning. That's um, Campbell's Soup. And uh, same thing, we're gonna hit the button and it's gonna start shining. Notice I just have one laser on, you can pick right laser, left, left laser, both lasers. I'm kind of playing around with it, so I just put on one for now and see, and I'll try it with both and then I'll see if it comes out different, better one or the other. And just kind of playing with it. But notice, uh, it's already coming out really good here because this is like a real, you know, there's no glass or anything. It's a piece of paper basically around it. It gets pretty much every detail. So let's let this go. And then we'll see where we get. Here's the file now. You can actually read it and everything. There's no top or bottom because of the camera angle. Um, and, I mean, it's not perfect, but it, it actually looks really good, especially for something that costs $100. This is freaking awesome. But then you can use this free program, Mesh Lab. And here's some examples on just, like, it, it just fixes them, and it'll make it look better. You know, you'll be able to read everything better. It just, it, it just like a cleanup thing, and then it'll convert that to an STL file, which then you can 3D print and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and download this Mesh Lab, and then I'm going to scan this guy. This is one of my aunt's precious moments, 
And uh, let's just see if we can get the same shape and stuff as it. I'm kind of interested. Okay, so the precious moment is started. And I think this might actually come out pretty good, so we'll see what happens. It's already coming out amazing. So then after putting this through Mesh Lab, it'll, you know, I could literally 3D print one of those. It's too cool. But look at this. I got the Chicago Blackhawks cup and it's got like the Indian heads on it and just lots of detail. And it actually picked it all up. This is in that other program. This, so this is the program I'm going to use to clean it up. But even before cleaning it up, it looks really nice. Like the Indian heads turned out great. Um, yeah, I just, I'm very impressed with it. It looks a little different when it's in the other file, when it's in this program. So... Yeah, I still got to learn how to use this program a little more and really, you know, get out all the kinks. But this is that free program, Mesh Lab. But I don't want to make this video into a tutorial. I want to keep it an overall review and unboxing. And so far, I'm absolutely loving this scanner. Okay, guys, so after having this thing for a day and playing with it, the, my first impressions and unboxing of the thing is it, it's freaking awesome. For $100, this is one of the coolest things you could ever buy. Um, just the fact that you can grab something and scan it. So if you have a 3D printer, this opens up a whole bunch more doors. But also, this was extremely easy to build. Like, they, a, a kid could put this together. It wasn't hard at all. If you've ever put a 3D printer together, this is nothing. But it's just really cool for me to be able to just scan something. It's just like uh, a toy that I never thought I'd ever have but now I got it so I'm absolutely loving this thing I'm hopefully I can check out more 3d scanners because now this is something that really interests me so I got to learn how to use this more and more and down the road I'll make tutorials on this on how to like go from start to finish to grab an object scan it put it in here and everything but I, I don't want this video to be way too long and um, I still want to figure out everything out before I make a tutorial video anyways but first impression review is this is incredible so if you want to pick up one of these, you can get it on GearBest. There'll be a link in the description and get it at the cheapest price possible. But it should be right around $100. And for right around $100, this thing is worth every freaking penny. So, I don't know. Hope you guys like the video. I like the toy. Hope you guys like it. And I guess I'll just see you guys later.